Everyone who uses Adobe Lightroom will know about presets, but you may not have noticed or you may not have tried out Lightroom's latest adaptive presets. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton, and this is a video for amateur photographer on what Adobe Lightroom's adaptive presets can do. So, if you're a Lightroom user, you've got no shortage of presets to choose from. Uh, there are a whole bunch of presets included with the software. You can download presets, you can buy preset packs. But most presets are a kind of one size fits all solution. So you choose a preset and it applies a bunch of settings that are the same every time for every image. Sometimes they'll suit the image, sometimes they won't. They're a kind of one size fits all solution. Adaptive presets are different. They use the new AI powered masking tools in Adobe Lightroom to automatically select areas and subjects and objects regardless of the image that you load so that you don't always get the same result every time. Let me see if I can show you how this works. So if I open up this category for adaptive sky presets, you'll see that if I choose blue drama, Lightroom spends a moment detecting the sky area because that's what this preset is for. And then when it finds it, it applies an adjustment to the sky to give it, well, as the name suggests, a bit of blue drama. So if I click on that preset to apply it, then go over to the masks panel, I can see that there is indeed a mask for the sky. All well and good. So let's reset that and have a look at some more. These adaptive sky presets are fine if it's the sky you want to adjust. Likewise, we've got adaptive portrait presets for shots with people in them. These do depend on finding matching features in people's faces before they do anything. So we're not going to see any effect here. There are no people. So we'll leave that to one side. We also have adaptive subject presets so we can make our subject pop. And this is where uh, Lightroom will now look for what it considers to be the main subject in the photograph. In this case, I guess it thinks that the red building in the background and the foreground hedge is the main subject. So it'll try to pop it with an adjustment that changes the tones, changes the colours and so on. Now these are all well and good. You do get a small selection of adaptive presets with Lightroom, but you can make your own. And this is where it gets particularly interesting. So with this image, I think the main problem is that it's not that the subject needs enhancing, but the surroundings are just a little bit too light. So if I go over to the mask panel, we can see that in addition to the subject and sky masking tools that we've seen used in the adaptive sky and adaptive subject presets, there is a background mask. If we apply that, what this effectively does is mask every area that Lightroom thinks is not part of the subject, i.e. the background. So this could be quite useful here because I think this background is just a little bit too bright. So if I go down to the Curves panel, I can turn that down. And that's quite a, that's quite a successful result because there was nothing wrong with the way the subject was exposed, but the rest was a bit too bright. So now I've got an adjustment that tones down the background. How do I save that as an adaptive preset? Well, it's pretty easy. So I think the first thing I'll do is change the name of this mask so I know what it refers to. So I'm going to call this Background Darken. So now I've done that, if I go up to the Develop menu and choose New Preset, I'll get a dialog with all the settings I've applied to this image where I can choose the ones I want to be stored as part of the preset. Now, in fact, I don't want any of these things. The only thing I want is the masking box. And if I check that, my background darken mask is included by default, and this will include the settings I've made to the curve. So all I need to do now is perhaps go down to advanced settings, choose the support amount slider box, which could be useful later. Now, if I check in my user presets, I'll see my new preset shown there. So will this actually work? Is it really useful? Let's have a look. If I go and find another image, Here's one, which is a little bit of old farming machinery. It's all right, but it doesn't stand out particularly against its background. So let's try my new adaptive preset. 
it's detected everything in the scene which is not part of the subject. That's ideal because it's the background I wanted to adjust. Now if I click on this preset to select it, I also get an amount slider. So I can make this effect stronger, I can make it lighter. So there's one instance where it's worked pretty well. Let's try another one. So I think this is quite a nice shot of some dried flowers on a window ledge. Uh, let's try my adaptive background preset there. Well, now I think that is really effective. I do like that a lot. If you didn't know that the background had been subdued, you wouldn't really know from this. I think you'd think, oh, that's just some nice contrasty rich lighting. So I'll click the preset to apply it. And then if I go over to the mask panel, you'll see there's the background darken mask. That was part of the preset. And if I want to, I can very easily make some other adjustments here. I don't know, let's say increase the saturation or maybe adjust the white balance. We've already got the mask that enables us to do this. So there we are. That's an introduction to Adobe Lightroom's adaptive presets. They are actually rather clever and very effective. I hope you find this video useful and I hope you find adaptive presets useful. So thanks for watching and see you next time.